Hello, my name is Rifatul Islam, and I'm a PhD student here at the HSA with the Department of Computer Science. My research interest is immersive technology, especially in virtual reality. Um, so today I'm going to present, can we really personalize uh, virtual reality experience? Um, and why do we need, basically, to personalize the experience? So any kind of immersive experience, especially any kind of uh, virtual reality experience, is highly personalized. For example, if I use virtual reality for a rehabilitation program, um, it might be different for person to person. So the progress, overall progress of that particular person may be different than one person to another person. Another example is motion sickness in virtual reality. So if I get motion sick, for example, if I get motion sick in virtual reality, that might not happen to you at all. So uh, personalization is very important in virtual reality. Um, so how do we personalize things? How do we personalize the virtual reality experience? Um, it turns out that we can basically personalize the immersive experience based on some user's input. And the best way to do that is collecting the physiological response in periodic interval. And we can collect the physiological response from uh, either a smartwatch or some uh, research grade a uh, sensor attached to person body, for example, the heart rate sensor or some kind of galvanic skin response sensor. Uh, so what it does is um, the, the, the framework that I'm presenting today is called SenseVR. What it does is, is on periodic interval, it collects the physiological response uh, from the participant or the user's body, whether it's the heart rate data from uh, coming from a um, smartwatch or some other uh, GSR data coming from some uh, other external sensor, and then it transmits that data to a secure server location where it actually processes this data and then predicts uh, using deep learning algorithm, it predicts the overall user uh, physiological state. And then it transmits the data to the VR simulation where this rendering toolkit, depending on the application, it basically adopts some changes to elevate or to render. Uh, that changes to make that VR experience more personalized. For example, it can uh, try to apply some uh, motion sickness reduction algorithm uh, to its user uh, on on periodic interval based on the uh, based on the physiological state. Also, it can um, uh, it, it can suggest some changes um, um, to the rehabilitation program uh, depending on some person. So that's all. And uh, that's my presentation, and I'm really happy to answer any one of her questions. Thank you.